Now what I want to do is take this new point and replace it with the point that's on this line. So when you're replacing something, there's a node called list replace item at index. So here we're manipulating the list once again. So we're taking this list of these middle points, plug that into here. Now keep in mind, this index of points is just 1, 2, 3, 4, or 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the one in this case that we're looking for is point number 2. So the index here is just a code block for 2. And then the item that we're replacing it with is the translated point down here. And so now, if I look at this, the original point here was at 0, 0, 0. This one is now at 0, 0, 10. So this list now has a new point 2 in it. And so now if I want to make this surface curve, if I want to have it you know, bow up, we can just use this, but we need a line to generate. So we're going to use this, we're going to create a line here using that new point, and then we'll keep the original two over here. So to go all the way back to the very beginning here, where we had this original list, three sublist of five points, well now I have a new list of points for what was list one back here. So now, just like we did to replace the point, I need to replace that middle line of points from this list to create a new list of points on the surface. So we're gonna use the list replace item again, but this time we're gonna go all the way back here. That is our list. The index that we're replacing is one, because it's this line right here. And then the item that we're replacing it with is the new list of points for that particular line. And so what results is a new sublist of three with a new list of five points. And then to create a surface, what I have to do is create NURBS curves first. And we're gonna do that by points, not by control points, but by points. So our points are this, and you can see what it did. So because these are three separate lists, it just connects the NURBS curve to those three separate lines. And then to generate a surface, we simply do a surface by loft. And when I plug that in, there's our new surface. Now the original flat surface is still visible. So you can go back to the original flat surface, which is this. If you right click on it and turn the preview of that off, that will disappear and all you're left with in the preview is the new curved surface. So this is just one example of how you manipulate lists in order to produce a form. And this is a very common technique in Dynamo. It's collecting data, it's parsing that data, it's pulling certain pieces of data out to selectively use them, and then in some cases recombining that data in new configurations to produce what you want.